Hello everyone and welcome to Neat Mentor. In this video, we are going to take a look at a seat increment status in MDMS and uh, DNB NB diploma. Okay, whole and soul branch wise, we can uh, see the status here and uh, so much of seat has incremented. We will also talk about uh, the impact of this seat in increment positive in uh, shift and comparison with last year. So if you are new here, uh, you do the subscribe, do subscribe the channel and uh, you can contact us for uh, availing paid counseling guidance. You can visit the package okay, uh, on the website and uh, you can contact us. Please do join the telegram group because these all things in PDF format already posted in the telegram group. Okay. So in last uh, three, four days, 200 uh, approx 150 to 200 seats got added for MDMS particularly. Total number of seats now added for this year 3714. If we compare it from, from last year, approx 2000 seats were added and this year is going to be almost double and in coming days you will see it's more than double. And uh, if we see that seat increment in uh, DNB, okay, so officially the number is less there are two figures one that you can see now on the screen 692 but these are that uh, based on the details available on the nb website okay but the number there it shows and you calculate as per the number from the last year then it has much more seat increment which is 1000 or plus in both dnb and nb diploma so in the due course when they release the seat matrix or they update the complete seat details we will come to know how many seats they have added in case you want to see college wise details which colleges in which branch how many seats are added how many new seats uh, new course in particular college or the details about the new pg colleges this year you can uh, join our telegram group there you can find the complete list for DNB, NB Diploma and MDMS. If we take a look at the maximum number of seat addition in uh, MDMS, that is in gynecology, 380. And uh, in general medicine also 380. And total number of seat added in uh, government colleges, 2,118. In private, 1,330. In deemed, 266. And after these two branches, if you see maximum number of seat increment, is in anesthesia uh, sorry it's in general surgery 373 and then anesthesia after anesthesia is 282 in radio, radio diagnosis which is a big number compared to the seat addition we saw in previous years so this year there is so much of increment I'm not going to uh, read de uh, it everything because it's available on the screen. You can take a screenshot also. Let's take a look at uh, some figure from DNB seat increment. So maximum of seat got added in DNB general medicine. That's very good news because uh, the candidates are very eager to take general medicine even if they, they get in DNB. And the passing rate is also good. After D uh, DNB general medicine, uh, more number of seats are added in DNB anesthesia and then DNB pediatrics. Two branches have uh, less passing rate DNB pediatrics and DNB orthopedics. 99 seats got added in gen DNB general medicine, general, general surgery. Okay, and seats are added in, uh, in almost all subjects. If you want to see the list, you can uh, visit our telegram group in uh, DCH. Uh, 69 seats and uh, in diploma and anesthesia 71 seats DGO 89 seats which is maximum so gynecology particularly has got maximum number of seat DGO as well as uh, MS gyne okay so how is going to impact uh, the cutoff definitely it will impact the cutoff positively and we can expect uh, approx 1000 of positive shift in the upper clinical subject like medicine uh, radio diagnosis and such branches and the least demanding uh, clinical branches radio oncology and anesthesia we can see uh, up to 3000 approx 3 to 4000 
and I have given the expected cutoff in the previous videos for DNB, MDMS, NB diploma, and particularly for those colleges where the tuition fee is minimal, up to 15 lakhs per year. So in different state, what will be the expected cutoff for the private colleges, clinical seats, okay? So these all information will be very important for you to and do analysis and uh, how you should proceed. And one more thing, since uh, it's going to be NEET PG 2024, next year so those candidates who had already started preparation they can also they will also take drop okay which will result in uh, further push to the cutoff so this year is going to be remarkable uh, in terms of getting seat chances so you have very good chance to get uh, best possible seat just one thing that you need to make sure that you do the counseling process in the best possible way because the government doesn't design any architecture uh, which guides you uh, to take the decision which one to give priority and which one to give less priority and uh, what transferring you should do you should do and how to judge the colleges and all such things so you need to be expert about these things either you have the information or you have very specific set of colleges so that you choose it and you don't do any mistake but in case your rank is on boundary line then you have to do the choice filling in very smart way and uh, lengthy choice filling so that you don't miss the chance of getting a seat which is which where you have chance because you might be having idea about very few colleges which is in your state or very renowned colleges but if you are not going to if you're not getting seat or you don't have the probability to get the seat in such colleges then you must include other colleges uh, figuring out about its details okay so that's very important point just knowing that is going to be positive cutoff it doesn't guarantee you seat you have to uh, do the processing of the counseling smartly and with all proper knowledge with knowing all the proper rules and regulations so that's all from my side thanks for watching